One question we get a lot is how to program marking, and this video will cover how to do that in iGEMS. If you're using WordCam, there's a separate video on how to do it in WordCam. So let's say part like this, we want to mark or etch these lines here, maybe mark the part number, and maybe we also want to mark where these uh, circles are, and then everything else we're going to cut. So we'll walk through how to program that. First of all, your parameters for your marking would be in your material database. So uh, I've got my material selected here. Click on your material edit button. And if you go to the top level of the material, so I'll click on stainless steel, we have this AWJ tab and marking parameters. First of all, you have this choice here whether you want to use abrasive or not. Uh, so if you want a very light mark, you can turn that off and just do water only. And if you use abrasive, then it'll be a bit deeper. And then you've got things like what speed you want to do your marking at. And this would be if you're trying to mark a point, how much of a delay there would be there. Uh, special marking speed doesn't apply to what we're doing. And then up here you've got check boxes about whether you want to do your marking at uh, high pressure, basically the same pressure as you're cutting at, or and if you want to use a uh, different abrasive flow. And then depending on our settings in our machine settings, for example, if I uncheck this, uh, if I'm using a standard mini hopper, and if we look at our different mini hoppers, on the left we've got our manual mini hopper, so for people that are cutting mostly metal, then this is usually the uh, the mini hopper that you'll get it has the slider on the front that you'll set to one number most of the time but when you are doing your marking you might want to set this down at a, uh, a lower number especially if you're doing it at lower pressure because when you're marking at lower pressure say 20,000 psi you're not as able you're not able to suck as much abrasive into the cutting head if you leave it up at the high setting then you'll probably overwhelm the cutting head and uh, choke it off so when you're doing if you are doing a low pressure marking you'd want to slide this down to a lower number there and as far as what the number is that just depends on the application how deep of a mark you're trying to get and that just requires some trial and error if you've got the smart feed mini hopper and then when the pump goes into low pressure then this will automatically make this wheel spin at a lower rate letting less abrasive down to the cutting head and then you could just calibrate that low low pressure speed on the the mini hopper to be whatever sort of flow rate that you want to do for the marking. So if you have the mini hopper like on the left, the manual mini hopper, we can put an M00 code into the program. So at the beginning of the program, we'll put M00 to stop the machine to give the operator the chance to make sure that this is at the, the low pressure setting for the marking. And then again, when the pump switches up into high pressure, there'll be another M00, which will stop the machine again with a message. And then that signifies the operator that he needs to slide this back up to its normal high pressure setting. So if you do want to do a different abrasive flow rate when uh, you're doing your marking, you would uncheck this box here. Now the number that's in here doesn't control anything on the mini hopper. It will put this number into the uh, CNC files so that the operator can know what to set it at. And then similar thing if you want to do low pressure marking you would uncheck this and again this doesn't control anything on the pump but it would just be a signal. Uh, we would put that M code into the CNC file to, uh, to tell the pump to go into low pressure. So for this example we'll do it with abrasive at lower pressure and we'll be doing 25 inches a minute. Now under your machine settings, we just want to check these before we go much further here. If you go down to the cutting equipment area, we have the check boxes and the buttons to tell the uh, iGEMS that we can send codes through the CNC file to turn the pump on and off and also switch between low and high pressure and then down here we've got buttons to signify whether we've got the manual mini hopper or the uh, smart meter mini hopper you'd use the high low abrasive control button here we're going to assume that we've got a manual mini hopper so we'll set turn that one on also on this cutting equipment tab if you scroll down further 
the bottom you've got your delays for marking so delays between water and abrasive on if you're using the abrasive when you're marking between water and abrasive off and moving and such so generally you want these delays to be very short you don't want the cutting head sitting there very long when it first does its uh, pierce or at the end when it's shutting off so very short delays typically for those marking numbers there also if you scroll down a little bit further in case you need to adjust them when the pump is going between low and high pressure these are the numbers that control that so that's where you can adjust those numbers okay so now let's go ahead and create our part so when I create I'm gonna drag a box around this of course now this selects everything that's closed contours it's selecting these open contours but we're gonna have to select those later as open contours to tell iGEMS that we won't put marking on there so normally iGEMS assumes that we don't want to do anything with any sort of open contours uh, if we want to mark these circles we want to deselect them at this point so I hold down my shift key and I click on these I deselect these and then in the uh, the next window here we will select those and then be able to apply marking to those circles so we hit enter and we have our preview box here and we see all the things that we want to cut and then if I choose other objects I can drag a box around this left click drag left click so you see it selects everything else that I hadn't selected before hit enter again brings us back to here and in the preview window you can see these other entities in the, uh, the magenta color there so click on OK and now we can use our marking so up here we, on our cam tab under the toolpath area we've got the marking option if I click on multi I can just drag a box around this and iGEMS will determine the best path uh, between all those cuts if I prefer I can click on single and I can individually click on these in the order that I want to do it at and if I have a preference on which end of a line I want to start at I would use the single and you can click on the end of the line that you want to start your uh, marking from in this case here I'm just going to do multi and we'll just drag a box around everything highlights in yellow what it's going to be choosing for the marking hit enter and now we've got our marking tool pass on there and then from there of course we can do our contour button to add the rest of our cuts or toolpath for the uh, actual cutting and if I go into my edit command here click somewhere on the perimeter of the parts brings this up so you can go through here if you need to reorder the markings you can use this box here so finishes all the marking and then does the cutting and if you're happy with all that, we'll just go ahead and take a look at the code. So just want to check if you haven't done it before, go into settings and under strategy under the various tab, you want to make sure that skip pressure changes is either set to no or no but ask and skip of abrasive flow changes is also set to either no or no but ask and then in that way it'll put the M00 codes in there when it sees those abrasive changes so we'll just do the 2D preview so we've got our checkbox here we are going we're not going to skip abrasive flow changes so I'm not going to check that And here at the beginning of the program, we've got our M100.02, tell the pump to go into low pressure. You can see the comment here, start of marking. We got our delay to go to low pressure. And then we have an M00, and see in the parentheses there is a comment, set 0 .5, 0 0.5 pounds. So that, again, would signal the operator to move that slider to the, uh, the appropriate setting for the marking. And then it's going to go ahead and do the marking. And we can see the feed rate here, 25 inches a minute for the marking. And then we've got the code here now, end of the marking section, start a cutting section, M101.02 puts the pump into high pressure, again there's the delay to go to high pressure, M00 triggers the operator to then move that slider back to the high pressure uh, setting on the mini hopper, and then we'll continue on with the cutting from there. So 
So if you have any questions on that, let me know. Thanks.